Hello everyone and welcome to VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now today I'd like to unveil the most powerful TriCaster ever created, the brand new TriCaster Vision. Now this TriCaster comes in a desktop or rack unit and features 10-bit SDR and HDR workflows, improvements to the UI, AI capabilities, and 44 live inputs, including up to 16 configurable SDI connections with 12G connectivity. And configuring these connections is what we'll be taking a look at today. Now, this gives you the ability to turn inputs into outputs and vice versa, all with just a few clicks of your mouse. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, all right, all right. So, I am on my TriCaster Vision interface here. And I am going to skip the create new session and open existing session, different settings in here, uh, and go straight to the input output configurations because uh, the first thing you'll need to do is uh, configure like what you want your inputs and outputs to be before you start a session. Uh, so because once you're in a session, you're locked into those particular settings. OK, so uh, to do that, we'll go down to the configuration menu here. And then over here on the right, you'll see you have an option for connectors. I also have another option for settings, but we'll look at that in another tutorial video. Uh, but on the connector side of things, uh, your first option here is you can accept external Genlock source from say like Blackburst, for example. Um, but what I really want to concentrate on is what's going on under here. All right. So you'll see that I have card A on this. I'm using the Rack TriCaster Vision, which tops out at eight different SDI uh, sources that you can bring in or out of the system. Now, the desktop version can be configured when you purchase it with a second Matrox card for even more inputs and outputs. You have a card A and a card B. These are both Matrox cards, which are awesome. I uh, highly recommend playing around with those. Um, but if you had a, another card in here, you can configure that however you want as well. But we're just going to look at uh, SDI uh, A1 through A8 for today's example. All right. So uh, first thing that I want to show off is we have a little color code guide here. So those that are marked in yellow are going to be uh, your inputs. And the ones that are marked in blue, those are your outputs. OK, now take a look here on this system, you'll see that the number conventioning is like this. So this will correspond to what's going on on the back of your system. So number one is going to start on the left, but on the bottom, and then zigzags its way across. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So keep that in mind whenever you're plugging in uh, physical uh, camera sources or video sources into this system. OK, now I currently have this set up to be four in and four out. And if I click on this drop down here, this is where we have options to configure this a little bit differently. So, all right, so uh, all the way from zero in, eight out to eight in, zero out. All right. So uh, now what I will do, let's just pick seven in and one out. OK, so uh, now what I can do now is I can revert this back to what it was. And so it will just stay the same. But if I go to seven and one out and hit apply to make sure I hit apply, um, what that'll do is that will reconfigure your matrox cards in the system so that uh, you can start to use these sources. OK, so what will end up happening is after I'll go ahead and fast forward through this. But uh, once the uh, hardware has been updated, uh, you might need to restart your machine depending on the setup that you have. And then you can start your sessions from there. All right, now that I have rebooted the system, let's go down to configuration because I just want to show you that it did indeed change the configuration of the different inputs and outputs on this system. So inputs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are now inputs. And number eight is an output. OK, so super cool. There's going to be a bunch more tutorial videos coming up about the TriCaster Vision in the coming weeks. And hope y'all will stay tuned for that one as I dive deeper into this awesome piece of hardware. Woo! All right. And for more information on this, again, please go check out VizRT.com. And of course, have some fun. Woo! There you have it, the first tutorial in a long line of videos to come about the awesome TriCaster Vision. Now, for more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash VizRT official. And for formalized VizRT product training, sign up for Viz University available at VizRT.com slash community slash Viz dash university. And you can find more information about VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner, or you can check out our website, VizRT.com. 
And if you're posting your work using VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or Vision with a Z. I see all these posts and love everything y'all are working on, so thank y'all so much. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.